Hey, you almost ready? Almost. These are nice components. Yeah, they're not bad. Is that a gray elephant? Really? You know this playthrough's gonna take like three hours, right? Oof. I'm gonna go make some coffee. All right, welcome to the table. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And we're gonna play Agra. Yes. Yes. By Finally. Quinehead Games. And we have it set up for two players. Mm -hmm. So we will, in normal fashion, go over the setup very quickly and then jump into the playthrough because this is going to be... Yeah, like a grab your popcorn. Yeah, I think yeah. so. So let's go to the board and we'll show you the setup real quick. So this ginormous board that takes up like most of our table <laughs> Is Agra, and in Agra, who we who, we have to? Um, We're throw planning a, party, a birthday right? party. Yes. yes, for this gentleman. This is a gentleman, a scholar, and a gentleman. <laughs> He's a gentleman and a scholar. Yes. So and he likes fabric coats. He likes everything, actually, yeah. statues and everything. So here we go. This is the main board, and it looks very intimidating at first, but I don't think it's it, not. It's it very is very nearly as intimidating yeah. as it seems. Uh, I'll go over quickly what everything is and then we'll jump in so in the upper quadrant we'll say <laughs> up here with the, these giant or pictures the top the top of the board some of us say. so some of the um some of the pictures may be a little bit cut off because it's not fully relevant to see the entire picture but for all intents and purposes uh -huh. these uh character spaces are action spaces that we're going to be taking throughout the game and you have four different types of actions right so what do we have over there on the left uh we have the architect right and he will allow us to move up on this um, kind of influence track and also, most importantly, build some production buildings. That's right. Buildings. That's right. And who do we and have? And then we next? have the sailor. Uh, um, yeah, so the sailor is going to help us deliver some of the really cool goods we're going to make to the notables or perhaps fill some guild orders for King Al Akbar himself. Yes. And uh, over here to the right, we have the trader. Not as in his <laughs> stabbing trader. in the back kind of trader, but actually like a merchant <laughs> trader. And he'll let you exchange goods um, at, uh, at a cost. Yeah, and he might also, stab you in the back. But... He may, but he'll also let you manipulate the market a bit, which is nice. And then finally we have the botanist, mm -hmm. um, Mark Watney. And what she does is she lets you do two different actions, um, one of which, important, most importantly, uh, will in let you increase your, your, um, meditation, your meditation board. And that gives you a lot of um, meditation points for later, and we'll explain that as well. Um, so she and she also lets you kind of move your farmers around, and you'll get that when we talk about the player boards. But moving on, uh, these tokens up here, which were placed, um, uh, correspond to each sort of column of homes, right? Of buildings, rather. And these buildings are really production buildings, and they're going to convert they're like processing buildings. Processing buildings. Yeah. They're going to convert raw materials into better uh, quality goods that are going to be worth much. You know, much more uh, on the market than your typical cheap ones on the left. So they get progressively better as you go to the further to the right. Um, down on the left side, and actually, to go a step back and look at the entire board, you'll see like you've got this whole city of Agra, mm -hmm. and you've got all these different like circles with pictures of goods in them, and they represent all the things you can sort of produce or process throughout the game. You're going to want to be you know, creating these items, filling orders with these notables, um, actually filling guild orders on the guild on the imperial board. And I'll let you go to the imperial board in a second. Yep. Um, and you know, to do that, you need to use these buildings to process or other type of actions as well. But the core thing you need to know is all of the buildings to the right of this this um, track here on the left, which is really your raw materials, they're all unbuilt yet. So we can't go there and take an action and process build uh, any of our goods uh, at this point, but we're gonna be building them later. Um, there is a cost to build them that's just notated on these building boards that will come off once they're built. And that will be paid in building materials, which just so happen to be these four uh, goods up here. So you've got sandstone, you've got like lumber, Mm -hmm. And you've got wood. It's like processed wood, like two by four. Yeah. And you've got like cement that's orange, which is weird. <laughs> it's like really weird. Orange. But those are the only things that can be used to pay for the construction of buildings, right? And that's again using that architect action mm -hmm. that you talked about earlier. Yep. And um, and all the rest of the goods are for trade, really, or to do other types of actions yeah. or to fill orders down here. So you've got what is that? Turmeric. 
or ginseng. Yeah, turmeric and cotton. Yeah. Cotton. You've got curry. You've got cottonseed oil. Cottonseed oil. You've got uh, dye, like powdered dye. You've mm -hmm. got like linen cloth. You've got a nice fancy shirt. Some paintings. Uh, paper, which turns into books, and bricks that turn into statues. And, you, you, you yeah, no, I just wanted to say that, um, again, it looks kind of complicated, but really it's quite organized, so you'll see that they're actually all even color-coded. So mm -hmm. all your purple materials can be turned along the purple route. And each of these have uh, a string of three, so cotton to fabric to shirt. Uh, we have the turmeric to curry, or to the dye, rather, to the paintings. But then they all have just one little offshoot, like kind of a byproduct I guess right. you could say. So that's how this is set up and there's these arrows here which will indicate what we can produce and what we can process. Yeah, and it'll make sense way, as so. we go along. Yeah. Just, just it's a good overview. <laughs> right, but the, the simple thing to note is like the raw material, if you if you convert it to the first material on the track, that right. it can't go that's, any further yeah, than that. You're you stuck with that oil. That oil doesn't yeah. become anything else. Right. But if you turn it into cloth, mm -hmm. you can then turn that cloth into exactly. a shirt. Yeah. But you can't go from cotton to a shirt. Nobody wants an oily shirt. No, I wouldn't. I don't even know what cottonseed oil is. <laughs> so, uh, in any case, that's so the setup is really just getting all these these building tiles out getting these price manipulation flags out and it really doesn't matter how you put them because you're going to use them throughout mm -hmm. the game uh, you'll notice that these giant meeple so you've got an elephant which represents a merchant he's going to be going uh, up and down uh through any built space so mm -hmm. he'll start going through here and then eventually he'll start going through the other buildings as they get as they get built and he'll be dropping coins droppings <laughs> along the way <laughs> Uh, coins. So, and and the, the currency in this game is called a, a rupee, yes. which is also your victory point. So whoever has right. the most rupees at the end wins the game. You also have this builder who, if you go on uh, the builder's space, mm -hmm. you can actually have him immediately build that building at no cost. Right. But what you don't get for doing that is one of these building tiles that you would normally get for taking the architect space. Yeah. Right. Another bonus for getting the elephant, though, is you will get favor. And we have to talk about favor in a bit. Yeah. And just so you know, when these were set up on the board, you, we actually just rolled the d6 to determine where they were going to start. So Elvin happened to start it at the, at the first spot. Right. He and not, he, so. you rolled a four, so yep. he came down to the fourth space. And he's yeah. only going to go to the buildings that are unbuilt. Yes. Because he's a builder. He yeah. wouldn't go to a built building. Yep. That wouldn't make much sense. Mm -hmm. All uh, right. Along the track, we've got these uh, this river, right? And this river has this river boat. And this is more or less the timer. But along the river, you've got these what they call notables. Mm -hmm. And they have um, needs for goods that you can fulfill throughout the game to earn favor on the guild track on the imperial board. They're like coming to the party. They are all getting ready to come to the party. So, and they'll give you like passive and one-time bonuses yeah. as you complete them. And they're set up in four different, um, I guess, phases you can call them. So you've yeah. got tiers, four different tiers. So you've got tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four. And as we complete these, that's gonna drive this boat further and further down the river, which are gonna trigger certain events to happen. And once the boat reaches the end, that triggers end game. At least that's one of the end game right. triggers. Right? And that'll, we'll go through all of that as yeah. we play the game. Exactly, so yeah. let's jump to the Imperial board. All right. And then we'll do player boards. Okay. So the Imperial board over here, we have again the king at the top, and there's a few things that are gonna happen on this board. At the the last phase of our turns is going to give us the opportunity to either give one of our goods to the king, which is really just going to result in endgame victory points or endgame money, which is our victory points in this game, or we can fulfill a guild order. The other way to do a guild order is to go to the sailor, but more often than not, we're going to be doing it through this action. So down here, we have for each of the types of guilds, we have I think the um, what do we have the artist guild, the merchants guild, and then the scholars guild, which are again color coded. As long as it's not a problem for color blind people, I don't know. <laughs> but right. um, you know, you have your red, blue, and green. So down this track, we each have a marker in our color, and as we fill these orders. And as we serve the notables along the river, depending on what guild they're with, we're going to start moving this marker further up the track. And we'll explain how that works once we get playing the game, but just so that you understand what that is. Down here are the actual orders for each of these respective guilds. And we've pre-populated, you'll see all these pink or red, however they look to you, pegs all over the board. 
These are for the two-player game. We pre-populated some spaces just to tighten the board up a bit. So for example, these goods have already been delivered to the king, so we can't re-deliver them. And these orders have already been filled. What's really important about this is that at the start of the game, we are only, as a as players playing the game, only able to fill up to a maximum of this many orders per guild. So only three orders can be filled in any of the guild columns at the start of the game until we start moving down the river. Because two of the spaces are already taken up, only one of us is going to be able to fill an order at each of these guilds until this moves up to four and then five and then six. That's right. The yellow indicates the guild, the, the guild order that's currently not like on offer, but that's what they need. That's what so, they, yeah, that's, the, that's the open offer. That's they're saying, right. hey, this is what we need right now, and that's all exactly. you can fill. So even if I had this, you know, the oil and curry, let's say, I can't deliver that. Really, what they're looking for is planks and some fabric. This guild is looking for the logs and like this Actually, sarcophagus for, thing. Uh, oh sandstone. yeah, sandstone and a jacket. Sorry. And this one's looking for um, oil and a brick. Okay. So that's what we're starting off with. As we fill these, these will move throughout the game, so their needs will change. And as an additional end game possibility, if either of us moves to the very top of this influence track, which doesn't happen, happen too often, that will trigger end of game. And if we happen to fill all six of the orders in a particular guild, that will also trigger end of game. Yep, those are the three end game uh, triggers. Uh, finally, we'll go over the player boards and then we'll kick this game off. Okay, so here is the player board and this will be the last piece we go over before we start the uh, start the game up. So, uh, off to the side you'll notice we have a bunch of these workers and these are the workers we're going to be putting out on the board to take actions. But on your player board there's a number of things going on. It's almost as complicated as the main game board. Uh, in the center here you have all these like tokens, right? And what these represent are everything. It'll represent our <laughs> goods on the board, it'll represent your favor, and what that'll do is um, throughout the game if you are displaced for example by another player, uh, one of your workers is displaced and they're not meditating, you will earn a favor and that'll just go over into your pool at that point. If you take the, uh, produ the yeah. elephant production action, if you go to any of the action spaces where the elephant is at, you'll immediately earn two favor. And what can this favor be used for? So you stack, stash up your favor and you, as at the beginning of the game you have three things you can do with your favor. You can spend it, spend two favor to buy any one of these level one uh, goods. You can spend three of your favor and process a good. And you can spend, if you have four, you can spend three of those four to bump yourself up on the guild track because you're not allowed to fill guild orders on the Imperial board unless you have at least one favor with that right. guild. So yeah. it's important to do that. Uh, you'll notice that you'll have four of the main resources on your board and all of these little blockers and they're going to be really hard to see throughout the game but just know that they're blocking these spaces and will be removed at some point through actions but what these what these little meeples are you know, on these tracks they represent your farmers so for example if i were to produce turmeric that's what it is too yes right? <laughs> i knew uh, you want to call it ginger i do it looks not. like ginger um like, why is that ginger orange <laughs> it, it will should be okay so we have uh, if you if you want to farm ginger or see yeah I'm saying turmeric for example, you look at how many empty squares you have on both sides of the track that connect to the ginger. And right now I have two. So in the beginning of the game, every farm can produce two. Right. If I were to remove this from the game, I will now have three with ginger. Now if I were to move my farmer up here, now all of a sudden I'm making four ginger oh, turmeric. So like this is how you sort of manipulate or build your production engine is by moving the farmers and removing these blockers from the game. Mm -hmm. Depending on what good you really want to process because you're not going to be able to focus on all of them. Down here you have this, um, it's a meditation track, right? And you're going to be leveling this up and then you can lay down your workers out on the board to generate this much meditation points uh, for the first worker and then every uh, additional worker will earn the, the value to the left of where you're at. So like with three of these I, and I lay down three workers I can generate five meditation points. And what do you do with meditation points? Well there's a meditation track on the board which we didn't cover but we'll go over that in a bit. Uh, I think that's it for now for the player board. Let's uh, go back to the main board. <laughs> okay. Alright, last bit. This is the meditation track. Yes. And it's got, <laughs> it's got five actions on it, but the game starts with this one covered. What these actions will do is you can spend any amount uh, of indicated meditation points that you generate 
uh, during your turn to, for example, deliver one good to a notable, right? Mm -hmm. You can convert one good to another good of equal value. And the value of goods is dictated by these little flags. So these are value one, value two, value two, and value three, which can be manipulated by the, by the right. trader at some point, and you'll get that later. This one here for two um, uh, meditation points will allow you to move one of those little blockers I talked about on your farm. This one here will let you process a good. You know, and depending on how much you're willing to pay, that's how high of a quality good you can do. So um, after you take your meditation action, the last one you took actually gets covered up by this uh, sun sundial thing. Uh, all right. Mandala. I think we've spoken <laughs> enough about how to play this game. It sounds like a whole lot, but it really is not that bad. Yeah. Uh, you'll get it after a few rounds. And actually, there are no rounds in this game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be strange because we there's phases in your turn. Yes. Usually, we're used to having phases throughout the game on kind of more of a macro level, mm -hmm. uh, but this is going to be a series of turns right. that we take back and so, forth to split yeah, into phases. And let's go over the turn uh, summary. So on a game turn, and you're going to be player one, mm -hmm. and it's not going to matter after we start because it's just going to be uh, Francis' turn, my turn. It's just going to go right. back and forth. But on your turn, there's three phases in your turn, the and two of the phases are optional. The first phase is the meditation phase, where you decide how many workers, if any, you want to lay down and to generate meditation points, and then take your meditation actions. The second phase is the action phase, which is mandatory. So you have to place one of your workers somewhere out on the board and take an action. The third phase is the order phase, where you're allowed to do one of two things. You can, one, deliver a good to um, Admiral Akbar, what's his name? It's King, King Akbar. Akbar, yeah. uh, Akbar, right up at the top track. If he wants, the birthday you, boy. If you happen to have the good on the board with one of those little these little token things, you go deliver it, and and that's going to help you for end game. Your second option is to fill one guild order, mm -hmm. which is on that Imperial yep. board as well, and that's just boom, you go do that. Uh, but that's it. That's optional. Mm -hmm. So the only thing you really have to do on your turn is take that player action. Yeah. Uh, at any point on your turn, you can spend your favor tokens to sort of boost or set up you know some nice combos throughout mm -hmm. the game hopefully we'll be able to represent that or at least maybe i will in addition to that you can also spend um, a combination of oil and curry mm -hmm. to actually lift up some of your workers and release them from their meditative yes. trance and like whip them back to work i guess you're feeding them yep. curry and because if, dousing them in oil if you place a worker on somebody else's spot you kick their worker back to them, but if that worker's laying down, they don't get any favor from that, right. right? And if you happen to want to take an action where you already have a worker, it's going to cost you two rupees. Let's show them how it works. Yes. All right. So. Enough uh, blabbering. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get on with the game. Okay. All right. Kick us off. All right. So in the first, in your first turn, or in our case, usually the first couple turns, I'm not going to, I can't meditate because I have no workers out there to actually generate me any meditation points. That is correct. So I will, I have to take my first action. So I think I will, hmm, I don't have any resources either. I think I'm gonna go here to the turmeric field and harvest some turmeric. So that will, like Anthony said before, generate me two turmeric. There. All right, now you have the option to fill orders. That's it. I don't even and think you I can at this can't, point. So. <laughs> so the first two turns are going to go very quickly. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the okay. sandstone. Yeah. And that's going to generate me two sandstone. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to get two favor because the elephant's there. And now he has to move. So he's going to move six wow. spaces. Wow. Okay. And I'm going to have to drop rupees the whole way. I don't know where two, they come from, but three. they come in. There. That's one, two, oh, he left there. So one, Six. two, three, four, five. So he always drops them in the space that he goes into and then leaves, mm -hmm. right? So he wouldn't have dropped one in the yeah, first Yeah, he's space. like along the way. Right, and he's just gonna keep going. Eventually he's gonna start going out this way once we start building mm -hmm. these buildings. Oh, we didn't put this guy, he, oh, put him back. he took him off before. Yeah. Um, so that's it. I'm not going to do any deliveries either. So you're up for meditation. Okay. I'm not going to meditate. Okay. I will go Yeah. Maybe make some cotton. Right? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I'm just producing all kinds of goods. All right. And no deliveries for me. 
So it is your so turn. It's my turn. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go here and just produce some wood. And I am, so I'm not going to meditate, obviously. I'm going to just produce wood and I can't make delivery. So here we go. You can meditate. Mm. No, I'm not going to do that. All right. But I will go up to the botanist. So I'll take the botanist action. Okay. Okay. Because I am trying to do this differently because a lot of times when we play, I don't go to the botanist till like much later. <laughs> you don't. Meditation so, is very powerful. It is. And before I meditate, I really want to make sure I can generate some meditation points because right now I'm only generating one point, yep. which isn't great. So I'm going to bump this up to two. And to do that, I'm going to have to pay a turmeric because when you bump this up, it'll, it'll tell you what you need to pay for each piece. And the payment goes right back to my supply. Uh, so that's my first one of her actions, and for my second action, you have to choose action, two different actions yeah, on the bottom. Yeah, two different. So actions. you can remove a blocker. Yeah, I'm gonna remove this wood blocker. Okay. Thing. And did you want and to make delivery? I will. N no, I'm not gonna make any deliveries right now. Okay, it's my turn. So I'm gonna bump you. Out. Okay, up so here. I'm standing up. I'm not meditating. He's bumping me out, which is going to generate me one favor. One favor. I'm going to generate two. Because you went to the elephant. Turmeric. I'm also going to get two more favor for that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going. And you take your money. To take. Yes, I take the money that was on the elephant, and that goes in my bag. And we also started with two rupees in the bag mm -hmm. to begin the game. And I could make a delivery. What does Akbar want, by the way? Um, he would like some cement, okay. bricks, uh, planks and paper, curry and dye, and wheel and fabric. Okay. So... And the guild uh, orders you can't do right now. Says you. You don't have the stuff. Um, I would like to spend three of my favor uh -huh. to bump myself up one on the blue or the Merchant's Guild. Okay. Boom. There you go. So what that allow me to do at some point now is fill a guild order mm -hmm. on the blue track. Yep. I'm done. Okay. I'm not going to fill an order right now. Right. But I could if I want. Yes. I just, but I can't because I don't have the goods. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have the goods. I don't. To do that. All right. Oh, I forgot to move the elephant. Oh, so yeah, while you're thinking, that. I'll move the elephant. Four. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, right? Yep. All right, cool. I am going to... I'm going to go here and bump you out. All right, that's what I take favor. And I'm going to take this money. And I'm going to generate, now I've removed this um, blocker, so I'm actually going to generate one, two, three wood on this wood spot. There we go. Okay. Okay. And, oh, obviously I didn't meditate. And I am not going to do any deliveries or anything like that. So it's your turn. What do I want to do? I don't know. Oh man, this is where it gets tough. I think I will. I'm gonna build a building. Okay. Why not? With so the I... guy? Oh, that's the wrong guy. <laughs> the architect. <laughs> he's, I don't know what kind of building he's yeah. gonna build you. <laughs> so I'm gonna build this cement building. I can build okay. whatever building I want, right? Mm -hmm. As long as I pay the cost. The cost is yeah. three materials, yes. or three value of materials, right? right? However, if you use two different materials, you get a one material discount. Correct. So I'll use one wood and mm -hmm. one sandstone. Right. And that'll pay for this building. Mm -hmm. So this building is now built. I have to place, place a worker there who, I guess he signifies the building. Mm -hmm. And then I could, if I choose, produce in this building. Right. And I choose, if I have the materials, to do that. So I just built some cement, for example. And um, I also get to take one of these building tiles. So I'm gonna take this one, which will give me, let me remove one of my blockers and give me $2. So this is done, I get two bucks, two rupees, and I will remove this blocker here. And then I could make delivery 
or not. Or not. Uh, yeah, I'll send cement. Okay. To, to Akbar. Akbar. All right. So first gift to the king. Yes, he's so happy. Yep. So he's I, like, thank you. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Take, it's my birthday. Take your I don't know why he sounds Italian. Is he, is he Italian? <laughs> I don't think so. The, the turmeric flavored cement that he's doing. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So it is now your turn. Mm -hmm. Go. All right. So what am I going to do? Okay. So I guess um, I guess I could meditate some people, right? Okay show how that works. So I will take my meditation phase this time. And how this works is I'm going to lay down two people. So I'll lay down this guy. And could you lay down my botanist worker? And okay. since I laid down two, if you look on your meditation track, the first one will be worth two points. Mm -hmm. The second one will be worth whatever the value is to the left of that. So I have a total of three meditation points to mm. spend on this move. So my options again right now are X can be anything up to three, so I can exchange something for something else. I could remove one of these blockers for two, I could move a farmer for one, or I could process any good up to a value of, in this case, three. But really for me it's only going to be two, because you can only move along one arrow. One arrow right? on the track, yeah. So. And when you do one of these process actions that's not where you're on the building, even though the building's not built, mm -hmm. you, can you can still, still do process. that. You can still process. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So I'll do that. I'll process this uh, cotton into this cloth. And that'll be worth two, two points. Two points, yeah, two of your... Um, so that's just going to stay there. Yep. And then I have one point left. The only thing you can really do... Well, you know what I could do for a point, though? And I think I might do convert this. Convert one for one. Is I can convert a one into one of something else. Right, and what happens is this moves to the last action you took. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's my meditation. Right. Now, for my action... I kind of want to build something. Okay. I kind of want to build. You want to build a cottonseed oil factory? A cottonseed oil factory? <laughs> no, cottonseed oil is so bad for you. It's like grapeseed is. oil. Yeah. Um, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't probably try to eat it. Right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and build. I'm going to build with this guy. So I'm going to kick you out. I will take some favor for that. Okay. And I'm going to build this dye factory. Okay. And that is gonna that has a cost of four, but I'm gonna use two different materials. Okay. These two logs and this sandstone, so that'll only be three. Correct. So this comes off. So that comes off there. Now I do have to put my worker on the building that I built. Correct. Just like you had to. And I I get a free processing. So I yes. will process my good. Now, when a player processes... Yes. <laughs> you can also process. It's the only copy action in the game. Yeah, and you can only process one. One good. Even if she did ten of them, I can yeah. only do one. And that will be... And you be, get a favor for that. Yeah, and that was a level, that was a four, right? So one, or no, a three hump? That was a three hump, three so hump. you get... So this is two, three, and four. Uh, no, yeah, that was a four. No, this was a three. No. Three one. humps. Not... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was a yeah. four build, but it, she means these yeah. three. Oh, I don't know what they're called. Buttresses yeah, or something? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an architect. Yes. So you get one of the middle four. Yeah, I get one of these middle ones. I'll, building take, I'll take this one. How much money is that called? Uh, so that gives me four bucks. Four rupees? And um, it lets me go up one on the red track. All right. Um, did you take a favor for me copying your production? No, I didn't. All Thank right. you. And... You can deliver now if you'd like. Yeah, I can also take my supplemental actions, and actually, that's that is true. Kind of what I'm, th what I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. um, but which supplemental action were you referring to? 
Uh, I'm gonna process a good, so oh, okay. or not process. I'm gonna produce a good, so I'm gonna spend two favor to produce um, a wood. Okay. A log. So that is your turn. Yep. All right. I'm. Oh yeah, and I'm not. I'm not delivering anything, right? Because I can't. Okay. No. So I'm gonna skip meditation this round, but I am gonna go to the botanist. Okay. And now you... So that comes back, but I don't get favor. You do not get a favor. So I'm gonna move up one. Actually, I can't do that. Never mind. Okay. I don't have. Why? The... But you don't have turmeric. I do have turmeric. Yeah. Oh, I knew say. I had turmeric. I was looking up here for some reason. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that it's going to cost me turmeric to go up in my meditation. The next one to cost is going to cost me turmeric in this. And the oil. The cotton, the oil cotton oil. Cotton seed oil. Uh, so that was my one, and the other one is I can remove a blocker. So I'll remove. I guess I'll just remove this one. There for my cotton. So that was my action. Now I can do a delivery. And does he want curry? Curry? Yes, he does. I don't have curry. Though. Yes, you do. I oh, you have dye. I've, I've, I've died. He, he wants dye. He does? Yeah, he wants dye. I, I, I want to stop giving him everything. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I thought you were going to try the serve Akbar strategy this he's time. He's going to get served, all right. <sighs> but not by me. Nope. Okay. No, I mean there are there are points to be had on Akbar. There are. I think it's I think it's more. But it's more it again, later. Yeah, you need your you need right your now. I need to hold right on now. to my, my produce, my yeah. my uh, vegetables. And All right. So are you fruits. done? Yeah. <laughs> your food's food. Well, my food's food. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's my turn. Yep. All right. I'm not gonna meditate. Mm -hmm. Um, for my action, because I don't have any favor. For my action, I am going to go to the sailor. Oh, making okay. delivery. Making a delivery. So here's how this works. In order to make a delivery, um, each of these, first of all, you can deliver to as many notables as you want. So I could deliver one thing to that guy and one thing to that guy, etc. Or if you want to deliver to, to one person, you can do that too. The first thing that you deliver no matter what its value is, is free. Mm -hmm. The second thing you deliver, you have to kind of pay him a price, like a delivery fee, sort of. Um, it's like the opposite of when you bundle stuff at Amazon. Yes, yeah, so actually. <laughs> so, it actually costs, costs more. you more. So, um, in order to in order to deliver two things, like I'm going to deliver to her, for example. So one of them is going to come for free. So I'll pay her this die for free. Mm -hmm. Now I have to pay something of some value equal to the number of other goods I want to deliver. So regardless of good value, exactly. You're going to so, get good value for this. I'm going to get good value. <laughs> so for example, she needs cotton, so I'm not going to pay with my cotton, but I can pay the wood, which has a value of one to deliver one extra good. Mm -hmm. Even if that good was like this two value item, I can, you know, it doesn't, the value doesn't matter. It's just the number of the good. So I think I will do that unless I wanted to, yeah, they don't want any of my other stuff. Well, actually this guy, no, I can't, I can't deliver something if I have to pay for it. Right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. So I'll pay this one value thing to deliver something of some, another thing. There we go. Right. That makes yep. sense. And now you get paid. Yes, I do. So I'll explain how this works. I delivered this lovely lady. The things come off here. Now she is part of the artisans guild. Mm -hmm. She's like the dyer, right? So she's the red group. So I actually go up one. On well, I don't the... mean get paid for that. I mean get oh, paid you mean for get paid delivery. for my, yeah. for so my delivery. Before you pull everything oh, yeah, off. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, sorry, sorry. So whenever you deliver a good, the first good you put, if there's no goods on a card, the first one you put there is worth one rupee. When you put another one on the card, it's worth two. however many there are on the card once you place it. Now yeah. there, there's two, you get two. So you can yeah. get a maximum of like six, six yeah. if there's three uh, goods on a card. Yeah. So that was, I didn't want to Oh, good. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks for interrupting me. I would have forgotten to pay myself. Yeah, you were on a roll. I wanted my points. So what is the name of right. this, uh, this it notable? It just says Dyer. Oh, she's she the Dyer. She's the Dyer. Yeah. So in the book, there are explanations for every one yeah, of the notables because really they're all very unique and it gives you a little bit of history about each of them but mm -hmm. so what her her uh, bonus is every time you produce goods you can exchange exchange two of these goods for one good of the same color with a value of two that's cool so like if i produce two wood i could actually make one plank right and right. she also gives you one rupee every time you deliver dye to someone right 
Uh, getting back to this, I bumped myself up one more because she's part of the Artisans Guild. And I'll actually get four dollars. I don't get, oh yeah, I don't get the four dollars. No, you only get paid on the Imperial track, on the Guild track, on when guild you orders, make yeah, a okay. Guild order. Now, with the uh, boatman, you could deliver to the notables mm -hmm. or... Or to the Guild. To the Guild orders. Yeah. So that's, you have a choice. It's not both. It's either out here yeah. or over there. So you chose out here. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I don't have anything to do. So now you actually could do your order phase where you could give, you where could fill an order. So by taking the boatman, you could actually fill an order with the boatman mm -hmm. and then fill an order again at the end of yes, your you uh, turn stuff. during the order phase. Yeah. If you're like, you know, lush on goods. But I'm good. You're goods? I'm goods. <laughs> <laughs> now, take note that the boat is going to move up once the second level one notable has been uh, delivered to and completed. Mm -hmm. Then this guy's going to travel down over here. So that's it for you. It is my turn. I don't know what I want to do. Oh, this is this is very troubling. Very troubling indeed. Uh, what do I have? God, there's like nothing good out here. <laughs> I guess I'll go get cotton for now. Okay. So that'll kick you out. You don't get any favor because you're sleeping on the job. And I'm gonna I'm meditating. get. I'm gonna get three cotton because I. I Took away one of those little things. Maybe my guys are, are polyphasic sleeping. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else did I want to do? I am going to spend three favor to okay. give me one level of production okay. or processing. And I'm going to process a piece of wood mm. into a piece of paper because it's one arrow. Yes. So you can go one either here. Oh, I'm sorry. I always put it on the, I always only put on it the paper. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I have to put it on the paper. I like, couldn't have gone from wood directly to a book, but I can do book to a paper next time. Mm -hmm. But that cost me all three of my favors. Or so paper I've got to a book. Or paper to a book. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm done. Short okay, term. cool. I'm not going to meditate. Mm -hmm. Ooh, even though I have a lot of guys out there. It could be advantageous. But I won't. Man, I really would like to. <laughs> I would like to do that, but that's okay. Okay. So I will go, I guess, maybe here. I'll kick you out. All right. I will produce two. You get that money too. Yeah, I'll produce two sandstone, but because of my dyer, I can actually turn those two sandstone into cement bricks or bricks. Yeah, that is true. That is that is a true statement. True statement. <laughs> and I'm not gonna do any deliveries because I don't really have. What do I have? Is it fabric? The fabric of our life. <laughs> That's it. Mm -hmm. oh, crap. All right. Well, okay. That's fine. That's all you're gonna do. Yeah, that's it. It was very. All right. So. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna start out, and I am definitely gonna meditate. Okay. So Good I idea. will lay him down, and lay this guy down, for three, two, mm -hmm. three. I'm gonna spend all three and make a delivery. Okay. And I'm gonna deliver paper to this guy. Hmm. So that's this okay. action. Deliver one good to a notable. So by doing that, I get a rupee, and I go up one on the paper track in the guild. The, the scholar. The track. scholarly track. So that. He's a gentleman and a scholar. He is both. He's certainly both. I will then. Hmm. This is very risque. Um, yeah. So I need to take my action now. This is tough. This is very tough. I think, though. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go to the merchant. Let's just, let's talk about how the merchant works. Yeah. Trader, okay. I was gonna say. Works, right. Was, so uh, the first thing you do is you get to take any one of these flags and put it on any good you want to exchange the value of it. Right. Mm -hmm. You can bump it up one or bump it down one. The right. only restrictions you have is 
you can't make that worth zero, right? So you can or make, three. Yeah, or it's three. It's got to be within one. Within one. So you can make, like these guys here can either go down to one or up to three. So I'm going to bump up cotton. And cotton I'm going to bump up to a value two, for example. So now cotton has a value of two. And what I can do now is trade one to three goods to any number of goods that equals whatever the total value is of the goods that I've traded. Minus one. Minus one. Yeah. It's his commission. Yep. So say, for example, I took two of my cotton. They are worth four now. Mm -hmm. Minus one is three. So I can exchange these two cottons for any other good that's yep. worth three. So I can say I can take a sandstone, for example, mm -hmm. as one, and then I could take any other good that's worth two. So maybe I'll take, maybe I'll take another paper, for example. But that's that's how that trade works, mm -hmm. right? So that's my action. Now I am on to the order phase where I can fill a guild order. I probably should have looked at that first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I didn't, did I? Uh, no, I, I couldn't have done anything anyway. So I'm done. My turn's over. That's okay. that's how the uh, that's how the trader works. All right, great. Very nice, very nice. Hmm. Interesting. I have way too many people out here. You need to kick my guys off. I think a little bit more. I'm nope. gonna have to meditate. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the heck of it, I'll meditate that guy, and then I'll meditate like this guy maybe for three. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, you took the good one, the delivery one. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a really good one, and I can exchange some stuff for some other stuff. I will exchange. Yeah, it's a one item exchange. Yeah, this brick, this two value brick for this two value plank. Okay. And for your last point, I'll cover that up. I think you have to just move a farmer. Yeah, I'm just going to move my farmer. Mm, and the one him. circle on that meditation track you do not cover there. is the center circle with the farmer. Right, You're yeah. always able to take Yeah, that. that's like a default. Okay, great. So for my action, I am going to go here, kick you Ooh, off. Boot me out. Yeah, see, I boot you out regularly. That's good. Take these two. For the elephant. For the elephant. Roll and him up. Yeah, I will. I'll do that at the end so okay. that I can. And I'm going to make one, two, three turmeric. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Where is he going? And five. five. So we have to look now because we have some built buildings, There's right? There's two of them, yeah. Here and up here. Yeah. So one, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. nothing else. Four, five. So one up here. All right. Yeah. So he kind of goes down, uh, back up, down, back up, down, back up, yeah. like that. And he'll just keep circling the area. Uh huh. Dropping his. Drop. <laughs> his dropping. His dropping. His money. And I don't know that I want to use those favor tokens right now. I might just hang on to those okay. for now. Um, but I will fill an order. So I'm mm -hmm. going to fill a guild order with this uh, cloth and with this plank. Okay. I'm going to fill this guild order here. So now I will move up one. You will not. Uh, oh, no, I won't. That's right. Okay. If you are in the Crap. lead yeah, on the track, the you do not move. Yeah, but no. you collect the but full the $4. payment of four dollars. Yeah. There you go. And you put your to token yeah, where the will. gold is. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you wanted to move up that track so bad. I know. I did. All right. So that goes there. And then this uh, gold one's just going to move down to the next available spot. Right. So now the new order up for offer on here is the oil and the curry. But we are not able to fill it. Because we have reached yes, the limit reached of the limit. three until we move the boat. Yeah. All right. So you did your guild order. Cool. That was kind of stinky. <laughs> uh, I liked our rules better. Yeah. 
the cheating rules. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and meditate two of my people. So okay. I'll meditate him, and I'll meditate this guy here for three points. And I'm going to take this delivery again. You always Ooh. do that, and it blocks me I'm every sorry. time. So I'm going to move my sandstone here, earn $2. And actually go Cheap. up one more on the green track there for the guild. Won't. Yes, you do. You always go up with these. You just don't go up for filling guild orders. Oh. Which one? This one? Yep. Oh. I go up one there. He is now complete. Mm-hmm. I complete him. And I get this. He completes you. He does complete me. So he is Kalib. Mm -hmm. And every time I produce uh, cotton or turmeric, I get an additional one. So that's his passive ability. Mm -hmm. Now, that actually triggers the boatman. So he is going to, or she is going to go up here, and it triggers this. So wherever the builder is, the builder is going to build that building. Automatically. Automatically. Yep. And he is going to move on out. You want to roll, yep. roll I don't the have that. Builder die? Two. So he's going to go up to the top right. Yep. One, one, two. two. So he's okay. going to sit here on the paper mill. Perfect. And that's all that happens. On the next move, now all we have to do is fulfill one level two, mm -hmm. notable, and it's going to move up to yep. here. And more stuff will happen. Where a lot more yeah. stuff will happen. Yeah. Yep. So that was my meditation action, actually. Wow, I didn't even take my turn yet. This is crazy. You're used to doing that. Why, don't, why do you sound so surprised? Oh, this is just... You always take that cheating move. It's just absolutely insane. <laughs> insanity. Absolute insanity. Uh, you know what I'll do though? I need some resources is what I need. All right, you know what? I'll kick you out just so you can get some, okay. some stuff. All right. That's going to generate me two favor for taking the elephant. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get one, two pieces of wood, which is kind of lame, but I need it. And the elephant's going to move. Where's the die? Five. Wow. Move them along. One, two, two, three, four, five. Right there. That's it. Okay. And now it's my delivery. Can I fulfill an order? What does my guild want? Uh, I can't do that. And I can't. No, I can't demand. This is some tough orders. No, I can't do any of that stuff. I mean, I could give him, but no. I'm good. Tough orders to fill. Yeah, those are some tough orders to fill. Okay. I feel like I have too many people out on the board. You do have a lot out there. I have a lot out there too, though. You know what I mean? And all of mine are laying down, though. <laughs> They're all laying down. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm all out of meditation. Oh, for a while. see, I'm not going to do that either. I was thinking about doing my meditation, but um, when X is your meditation points, mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes it kind of expensive to meditate. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, then. Well, I guess I'll just go here and make some cotton. Okay. So there you go. And you I make two, two cotton. All right. And any deliveries? Well, hold on a second, because oh. I'm thinking about my extra actions and if I want to do any of them. And I guess I, I don't know, that's kind of expensive, but no, I won't do that. I was going to see if I was going to spend a favor to get them some more cotton, but I think I'm good. You're good? Yeah, I guess okay. so. Uh, I'm not going to meditate because I really only have one guy who can do that. Um, actually, can I... <laughs> sure. I just feel like I'm not getting as much of these favor tokens as I usually do. Because you're not sending me home too frequently anymore. <laughs> nope. That's not good to do that. Yeah. No, I'm fine. All right. Go and ahead. I'm usually waiting until you like meditate your guy, and then I go take that. Yeah, so I know. I'll, I'll I know stall. exactly what you do. I'll like stall a turn. <laughs> yeah, that's right. all good. 
Uh, not meditating. I will take an action though, so I will boot you out. Okay. You can you can get your. I can get my favor. Your favor. So I produce three cotton plus one, so four cotton. Okay. So I am cotton rich. And I will then do. Hmm. I will spend three of my favor to do this one favor action here in the middle, mm -hmm. which is to process a good. Okay. One level. So I'm going to process one of my cotton into cloth. Okay. And now I can make delivery. Mm -hmm. Can I do one of those? What would you like to do? I don't think I you can. You can do sandstone and a jacket, or you can do oil and a brick. I have none of the above. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can deliver to Akbar. He wants cloth. He's not getting anything. Okay. Are you sure? He wants paper? No, not yet. He needs to write his party invitations. Well, they're coming. Just not right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. You can meditate. Alright. I... What do we have? I'd really like to do that delivery, if possible, but... Apparently I can't. Can you see what this guy does? Oh, uh, what's his name? He's the por Portuguese trader. The Portuguese trader. Portuguese trader. All right. So what does this guy do? Uh, he's a level one. Mm -hmm. You say? Yeah. All right. So the Portuguese trader is during the sailor action. You may spend more than one good to boost the amount of goods you can deliver, but to a maximum total goods value of four. For example, mm -hmm. you could spend two wood and two turmeric to deliver five goods. One free plus four. Oh, okay. So normally when you deliver goods, you're only allowed to give one good to boost additional oh, right. goods, right? So typically if you give, say you give a shirt, yeah. you can deliver your one free plus three other goods, right? Right At max, yeah. this guy lets you actually go up to a max of four yeah, so he's bonus like really to give you trade. one extra good to deliver. So oh, you can don't really, forget that that's really spread it out. On all my goods, not just... Like when I made my turmeric before, mm -hmm. I could have upgraded one. Oh. I always forget that. I thought that it was just some building materials, but it's not. All right, well. Oh, okay. I just wanted to go over what, what? these are real quick. Oh, okay. Because when we, um, when we reach certain thresholds on the Imperial okay. track, we get to take one of these or a favor. Um, the first one is you can spend three favors to take a peon action for free. And what mm. does a peon action mean? Yeah, Basically, if you if you want to take an action where you already have one of your workers, it's called a peon action, and it costs you, like I said earlier, the two rupees. Mm -hmm. But it would be free because two. Think about it, it's two victory points. It can hurt you. Yeah. This one, it's like if you have two, pay one, move a farmer two spaces, or two farmers one space, and that one is use. If you have three, pay two favor, and you could flip or add a price on something or manipulate the price on something. Okay. Not the best tiles. There are better ones. Yeah, there really are. All right, well, yeah, I don't really want to take that pee on action. I've got all these guys everywhere, like all over the things that I would like to do. <laughs> And I keep booting you off of the ones that I would take on yours, you know? Well, you're welcome to boot me off. That's fine. Yeah, I'd rather not, though. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Um. Oh, all right. Well, maybe I'll do this. So I'll, I'll spend this guy. Stand him back up. I get these two dollars, but I'm gonna spend them. Okay. To do that, and I will convert these two turmeric mm -hmm. into two dye. Okay. Okay. And I'll use three of my favor to bump this up to a painting. To a painting. Put that around the painting. <laughs> I was gonna about that. I know. And I'm thinking about making. Yeah, delivery, maybe I'll huh? do this. What's that? Making the delivery. 
No, I'm not thinking of making a delivery. No, I'm not. He doesn't need a painting anyway. I'm thinking about taking this like bonus action. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have to talk about that. Yeah, so let's, and that's kind of, I wanted to illustrate sort of what this does. Any, yeah. yeah, so if you have one of these goods as one of your free actions at the end of your turn, you can put that good and spend it on any one of these special actions. So uh, spending a statue will allow you to stand up. This you take another action. Oh, take another, I'm sorry, yeah. You yeah. can take another worker action, which is hugely yeah. powerful. Um, if you spend a book, you can stand up three of your uh, meditating workers and get a favor. This one allows you to bump up two different tracks on the guild track. And this one allows you to sell that shirt for whatever the value is. And right now it's worth three. All right, I will, so I'm gonna bump up this. So you're gonna spend this? Yeah, that's why right, I put it there. You can go up two different tracks, okay. right? So I'm gonna go up this one, and that puts me in the yellow threshold. So I actually get either a favor or one of these tiles. Mm -hmm. And I'll figure that in a minute. And I'm gonna go up, uh, maybe on this one. Well, you hadn't gone up any other tracks yet. No, I haven't. Wow. Yeah, don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing other things. Um, all right, and I will take, so what does this do? You can pay three influence, and that lets you, what, stand up a worker? Free pay on action. Oh, yeah, the free pay on action. Which you just did by paying yeah. two. Yeah, this would have one free. lets you move your farmer. Two, either two one farmer twice or two. Times. Or two yeah. farmers once. Which isn't bad either. That's not bad. And this one just lets you flip a tile, right? Uh, put a price out somewhere on the board. Either move one or flip one. I'm taking the peon okay. action. So now you have additional favor actions to take. And you can only use each favor action once on your turn. So you can't like do one multiple times. Yeah, and you can't take more than one, right? Well, you can. You I just can't do the same that. one more than once. Okay, so this lets me take a peon action. For three... For Three, favor. but for free. Yep. Okay. Like what you just did by, yeah, by standing exactly. that peon up? Yeah, yeah. No, I know what that is. I just haven't right. gotten that time. So for two favor, you could swap oh, two the same. Best one. So I guess I'll you be You always that take next. that one. Man, I know what I'm doing <gasps> next. Who set this game up? Yep. Did you, you stacked these, didn't you? I know you? what I'm doing next. You're like, I'm just going to wait for her to get that okay. It's okay. Uh... <laughs> evil laugh yeah okay so what is that green Ugh. all right i can handle this okay so what am i doing meditating am i meditating you're meditating about meditating i am you're meta meditating i'm meta meditating <laughs> i'm gonna do yeah i'm gonna do this i'm gonna meditate so i'm just gonna generate one guy okay. worth of uh meditation so it's two and i'm gonna do this action here so convert a two to a two Okay. I'm going to convert cotton because it is worth two mm -hmm. to anything else on the board. And I'm going to turn it into a brick. All right. Now I'm going to... I'm going to take the boatman action because okay. I'm making deliveries. Okay. So I get a favor for that. You do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver a cloth and a brick to her. Mm. And I'm going to have to pay one resource for the extra delivery fee. Mm -hmm. So I'll pay that that wood. Okay. It's only worth one. And actually, do I want to do that? Yeah, I do want to do that. I do want to do that. Uh... All right, so I'm gonna get three dollars for completing that, uh, for delivering those goods to her. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna go up once on the green track because I delivered a green good. All right, I'm assuming you want this tile. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go with that one. So that's good. So now I can convert goods just for two favor. And she's gonna come to me. So this is Mula, Fa Mula. Wow, that's pretty good. She's the one who, once per turn, she lets me get a discount of one favor. Mm. And every time I deliver a brick from now on, I'll get a rupee. Oh, that's good. I had that one the last time we played. You did. You had Famula. Yeah. Famulan. <laughs> Famula. <laughs> okay, so that is that. And I could make a delivery. 
There's nothing I can make over there, is there still? I still can't do it, can I? I don't know. What do you want to make? I can't do it. Oil and a brick? No, I can't. I don't have any of that, yeah. so it's it's pointless. So, I'm done. You can meditate. Right out. One, two. Oh. Oh, what? Hold. Oh, we have to move the boat. Stop the press. So, we yeah. completed the first level two, so the boat's going to slide up now. This is actually going to come out. Yes. All right. So this is the four. So now we can start fulfilling guild orders in this column. We haven't done anything on these ones. So we can do up to four on each column now. Correct. And Elephant moves. Okay. So three. three. One, two, three. So, so we're here two and here. Coins. Yep. All right. And now we get favor. Yay. So we get favor in the amount of cotton that we currently have. Up to a max of three. So I'll get two and you'll get three. And I will collect the max of three. Great. Excellent. All right. And now my turn's over. Okay, good. And I guess the next time we do another level two, yep. the boat's going to go on up. Yeah. And in case we didn't mention, we actually, even if we have the materials, we can't deliver to anybody past where we are on the river with the boat, which makes sense. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the boat guy has like all our stuff. So it's only what's behind him. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think I, oh, you covered up the one I needed, the meditation. Oh, I did. Well, now I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, it wasn't intentional. I know. I needed to do that last turn. No, I know. All right, so I'm not, I'm still going to, okay, I'm still going to meditate. Well, take your favor back because. Well, I know, I'm going yeah. to. I need to walk through this. Hold on. So I'm, because I'm, I'm still taking my meditation action. Okay. I just wasn't, I'm not going to do this because it's stupid. All right, that's fair. So I still have two points to use for my meditation. Mm -hmm. um, and with those two points, I'm going to, I guess I'll actually use those two points to take this little square off. Yeah, that's what instead. I would Instead, you know what I mean? No, that's instead what of I trying to like move my farmer all over the place. So, that's that. I am going to use this guy here. Where do I want to use him up there? Actually, I think I might, maybe I'll use them. Here. Uh, no, I can't because I'm, I'm a peon, right? Yep. Oh, but I do get a free you could spend, peon action. If you free spend three favor, action. yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. But that's okay. I'm going to go here. I'll send you back. Okay. There you go. Get money now. And I do. And I also get one, two, three. So I get three wood. One, two, three. Um, but my dyer lets me turn two of these into one of these. Correct. Which I keep forgetting that I can do that. That's so. a good, that's a bold move. Well, it's just a smart move, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. So that was your action. Uh, yes, it was. So I am going to I'm trying to think if I want to spend my pee on. Who do I have laying down? Oh, it could be anybody, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to make more die though. They're not I'll really spend dying. Three. What? They're not really dying. <laughs> They're not really dying. I'll spend three, and I'm just gonna move this here. Production. Ah, uh, so you produced. Yeah. Okay. That's it. And orders, I'm not gonna do any. Your turn. All right, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some favors first. I'm not gonna meditate. Okay. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I get a one, for the first one time a turn, I get a one favor discount. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to spend one of my favors to do this produce. Okay. I'm going to produce a stone. Okay. And that's that. And then I'm going to spend three more that I have. 
and convert cotton to cottonseed oil. That's so strong. Right? Yeah. That is good. a good one. That's a really good Actually, one. Actually, no, I didn't I'm sorry, need what? to do that. I only needed to pay two, not three. Because I didn't need to produce. I can actually just convert. Oh. I did produce. Yeah. Oh, you did the produce I did one? process, <laughs> not convert. When I can do no, two for two, I, knowing that these are worth two, yeah. I can convert them that's to that. That's what I thought you were doing. Yeah, that's, that's very silly. powerful. Um, which is essentially that, actually, uh -huh. right there. All right, so now I can do my actual action mm -hmm. now. And I, wow. I've got some options here. One, two, dang it. This is tough. Mm -hmm. This is tough. I mean, do I want to do that? I mean, I could do that. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Not really. Uh, dang it. This is, this is, it's so tough. It's There's tough, right? so many things you want to do, but you just cannot yeah. do them. You cannot do them. I can't afford half of the stuff. And you definitely can't rush. That's the other thing. No, I, I really can't even afford half of what I want to do. <laughs> Isn't that like the story of life? That is the story of Euros. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> I will go here. Okay, kick I'm me gonna out. I'm going to kick you out, and I'm going to grab some coinage, and I'm going to get some ginseng, and I get... Two plus one is three. So I have three ginseng now, and then I could deliver mm -hmm. for free. And I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to deliver oil and sandstone okay. to the paper guild. Right? Ah, okay. So oil? That's not, that's a brick. Thing. Oh, crud. Yeah. I thought that was sandstone. No, that's a brick. Dang, nabbit. <laughs> oh. yeah, it's a glare. That's sandstone. I know, it's the glare it. from where I'm sitting. Uh -huh. It looks like yeah. sandstone. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'm not going to do that. Do you have any more production? Do I have any more production? Like, you, you don't have anything else you can I've do? I've got one little favor okay. left, so that's not happening. Maybe next round. Maybe next time. There's always next time. There's always next time. All right, I can do that next time. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. All right. I am... It's so tempting to meditate. <laughs> I feel like I need meditation right now. Like, mm -hmm. bad. Um, but I don't think I'm going to because I don't really have like a clear reason to. I'm just sticking to my guns, I think. So I'm going to take the sailor action. Kick Ooh. you off. A favor for that one. Yes. And I'm going to fill this sailor man. Mm. Remember mm. this guy? He's a good one. Remember, I wanted him so badly. Yeah, you got him this time. I did. All right, so I'm going to do that. And then I have to pay for that, so I'll use my one log to pay. And here's three rupees $3. for delivering Thank goods. You, you go up back. one on the blue track now. Yes. And? And he gives me... So he's the Jagardar. Yes. Jagardar. 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 Um, anyway, so what he does when you take the sailor action... I can deliver one good. One good. And when you take the sailor action, you can actually deliver your first two goods for free. Correct. So he's and very good. And if you... Good. And I get a favor for something. If you take the sailor action, yeah. I get a favor. If I deliver my one good by copying you, it allows me to... No, like if you no, no, copy no. me If I copy online, you, you get, I get the favor. Right, that's Correct. what it is. Correct. Yeah. Uh, but that triggers yes, the next that's, boat move. It does. So here goes the boat. We're already on five, not like it matters, because we haven't done any more of these guild orders yet. I know, they're yet. tough to fill. Um, and this one, we each get a favor. And here. it resets all and prices. And we reset the flags. Which is brutal. Yeah. Um, so that was my action. Let me see if I want to do anything else. I don't know if I can. I just like die. Nobody wants, nobody <laughs> wants this die. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm good. I can't really. 
do too much, so you're fine. You're good. Yeah. Whew, okay. Well, that kind of changes things. I mean, Akbar wants die. And that really changes things quite a bit. Quite a bit, yes. All right. Um, yeah, so I will... Actually, I'm going to deliver this to Akbar. So you're going to deliver? Okay. Yeah. And I get a dollar for that. He's the only person that wants my die. Oh, every time you deliver it, you get a mm -hmm. dollar. Okay. Nobody wants your die. <laughs> I guess I can. Mm. I have some options here, you actually. Do. So let's start off by meditating, I guess, right? I suppose. Why? Well, why not? I'll meditate. I'll meditate all my people. Okay. Boom, they're all laying down. That's it. I get three. So I'm going to use at least one of them to move one of my little farmers. Okay. Right? And my other two, I'm going to convert a two to a two. So I'm going to convert this paper to a brick. Okay. All right, two to a two. Mm -hmm. And that covers that. All right, so now for my action. Now that that's done. <laughs> Ugh. This is so difficult. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's so difficult, but it is. I'm going to go here and just okay. get some stone. I'll take that dollar. I just need some raw resources. You know what I mean? It's like you just, yeah. just got to do it. So I get one, two, three, four stone. Oh, we never took that one out? Mm -mm. Oh, nice. What is that? Oh, um, let you fill an order? Make a delivery. Makes it lets you make a delivery. You have to have four. Wow, you that's nuts. Two. That's really good. All right, so I just produced some sandstone. Mm -hmm. And I can do some things here because I haven't taken any of my freebies. I think I will... I'll just spend one because I get one discount and I'm gonna convert. I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna spend two and I'm gonna process. Okay. I'm gonna process another sandstone. Oh, do I wanna make it this? Or do you wanna make it a brick? Or do I wanna make it a brick? I'm gonna make it this. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. that Are you gonna do your order? Cement. Yes, I'm okay. gonna deliver this round. So now I'm gonna deliver a brick okay. and an oil. All right, so. You've delivered. There you Good go. job. I don't. Oh yeah, you need this one. And I get a dollar for delivering bricks because of Famulan. Okay. I do not go up on the track no. because I am in the lead. But you do get four dollars. But I do get four dollars, so I will get change from the bank. Mm. There's a dollar. I get five. Right. Mhm. Mm That's my turn. Okay. Pretty happy about that. Okay. Oh, did we oh. each get a favor? We did. Okay. Sure, if I grabbed one. I think you did. Oh, right. <laughs> you can check. check uh, yeah, no, it's not, it's only a favor. Okay. It's only a favor. All right, so you kicked me off of there. All right. Here we go. All right, I'm going to meditate. Mm hmm. This guy. For two. All right. I'm going to use those two points to do this and turn this into point two value of this thing. Correct. Then I'm going to take this action. Okay. And kick me back. Hmm? You kick me back. Right. No, I just thought of something. Okay. Um, do I do that? No, I was just honestly, I was just thinking about 
like two things simultaneously. Mm -hmm. I may not need to do that, so that's why. I, that's why I didn't do that. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna go here. So I'll still kick you back, but I'll kick that guy back. All right. Watch, I'm gonna need to have done that, and I, I completely forget why. So cotton, so I get two cotton, right? Mm -hmm. First of all, I use elephant, so I get two of those. I get two cotton, but that's gonna turn into one of these. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm-hmm. Um, move the elephant. Yeah. One. Oh, so. no, he goes up here. Oh, yeah, you're right. All right. You put it on the space that he left? Oh, that's right. He doesn't get yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Like, distracted now. <laughs> All right. So that was my meditation. Right? Mm-hmm. I meditated that guy. Oh, no. This I took my action. So I did that. I made that. Yep. Right? So your actions are over. My but... actions are over. But I can use this thing to take a free peon action. Uh, as your action. What? It's not an extra action. I thought it was a... Oh, that's why it has a 2 next to it? No, it is basically when you take the peon action, it doesn't cost you anything. That's the bonus Oh, thing. I thought it was an extra it peon action. It is not action. a free action. No, the free action will have the green arrow next to your guy. Oh. Well, that kind of changes everything. Yeah, you don't get a second action. Right, that well, would have been crazy. Uh, well, I'm taking this back then. Okay. So, I'm not going to make... I'm not making this. So, take your thing back. Uh, okay. My guy was laying down, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I meditated that guy in everything. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, well. So as my action, mm -hmm. I can spend these three and take a free peon action Correct. instead. Correct, yes. So that's what I'm going to do. Does that make sense? Yes. So I stand this guy up and I use my free peon action. Correct. Okay. That's how that works. All right. So I'm going sailing. All right. So you're going to deliver. Yes. I'm going to deliver. Oh, wait. I'm not going to deliver, am I? You saw that, didn't you? You have two goods on this the table. This is all messed up. You're going to have to just generate goods, all I right, think. You're, you're thinking fine, like fine, four fine. turns ahead, I think. I'm not thinking four turns ahead. I just compl I, didn't, I misunderstood what that meant. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is unfortunate. So I'll generate like anything, like this thing, I guess, to pay to deliver these two things. Does that work for you? To that guy. Yeah, whatever you, you want to do. If you want to deliver to him. So those are the two goods you had out, right? Yeah, those are the two I had out. Okay. So you get $3 um, for that. But most importantly, I get to move up on this track. Yes. And I get this. Okay. Yes. Really, all of that just to get that... That's zero. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Exhausted. <laughs> all right, what does this guy do anyway? He's the Portuguese, tra Portuguese trader. He lets you um, pay two goods to move... Oh yeah, that's up right. Up to four maximum items on a delivery. Yeah, that's I'm not really do that yeah. Because anyway. you already have the boat right, bonus yeah. anyway, so it's kind of redundant almost. <sighs> All right, you want to make a free delivery to fill an order? I was going to, but I don't have my stuff I need anymore. No, yeah, that's yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, well. There you go. Oh, what is that? Your turn. Oh, that's a good one too. All right. That's I hate a, when you get fake excited about yeah, stuff just to make me feel bad. That's real excitement. <laughs> don't, don't you call my excitement fake. It's, <laughs> it's fake. It's fake news. <laughs> it is fake news. It's all fake, fake news. Fake excitement. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to meditate, I don't think, because I really don't have much in the way of meditation, I don't think. Um, 
Can I do things? Yeah, I can do things. Why not? No, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, so I'm not going to meditate. But I am going to do some things. So I want... All right, this, this move's actually going to cost me two bucks because I'm going to do the peon. We haven't done that yet. I've been doing peon actions all game. Have you? Yeah. I haven't done it yet. So here's two rupees out of my bag of rupees. And I'm going to stand him up. And I'm going to take the traitor action okay. yet again. I'm going to manipulate the market and make sandstone worth two bucks okay. per unit. And I'm going to trade three units of sandstone and convert them into five units worth of other goods. Okay. Because they are worth six now. So I'm going to take a book for three. And now I have two more. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take... Mm, what else do I want? I'll take some oil. Cotton oil. Is that what I want? Yeah, I think I do want cotton oil. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So that is that. And now, that was my action. Mm -hmm. So, I think... I'm not going to make a delivery though, because I don't really have anything to deliver. What does he want? He wants... Stuff I don't have. All right. I'm good for now. So I'll leave it up to you. How do you have so many things on the board? So many what? You've been like producing like crazy. I've been doing a lot of production and not a lot of producing or processing. Yeah. So now it's time to start processing. Mm. I'm just trying to... I won't give away all my trade secrets. <laughs> Your uh, trade secrets? Yes. There's an, I'm just trying th different things here. Mm-hmm. I hear you. All right. Too. My sandstone doesn't look too good right now. <laughs> Your sandstone production? <laughs> my sandstone production is weak. It is weak. So weak. I make a lot of turmeric though. Um, all right, well, maybe I'll do this thing that I didn't do before. You can have that guy back. Mm -hmm. Um, so I make, I make two cotton. And I'll go ahead and turn that into one of those. As always. Mm -hmm. Um, and let me roll. Did you take two, um, favor last time and then put it back? I you, did put it back. You did put it back. Yeah. Okay, just want to make sure. Three. One, two, three. So one here and one here. I think I put it back. I hope so. Well, we'll know. Just I'm like you didn't sure slip me that negative victory. I know. Time. That's what I said. I'm like, I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. No. It wasn't I don't know. It was no, I did not. I know. That's why I'm I saying did I, not. I don't know. I can be completely guilty. Um... All right, so that was my action, right? Mm hmm I can't believe that's not pee on action for free. <laughs> Take a free action, yes. I like that action, though. Oh, who wouldn't? Why does anybody want my thing that I have? All right, I guess that's it. I'm not going to do anything else. You can go. I can go. Yep. All right. I think it might be time maybe to meditate a little bit. I got some people on the board. You can meditate two people. 
I don't know if I want to though, that's the problem. I got other things I want to do. All right. Oh uh, boy. Okay, I'm gonna just do, I'm just gonna go to the boatman. Okay. I'll kick you out. And I'm gonna pay, pay one good, one ginseng for delivery fees. And I'm gonna deliver two goods. So I'm gonna deliver books and cement to this guy. Okay. So that's gonna earn me $3. Mm-hmm. And a tick on the blue board. Okay. And you get to copy and actually... I have nothing to give. Oh, okay. You bring nothing to the table? I bring nothing to the table. <laughs> okay. You knew that, though. I didn't know that. Now I know. Uh, I'm good. Okay. That's all you do. I don't have any favor, so... Yeah. I've run out of favor. All right. All right. I'm going to meditate this guy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my two meditation points from that guy to turn this into this two for two. Into curry. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna use two of these guys to produce a cotton. Uh -huh. And then for my action, I'm going to turn this into oil. Okay. And take these dollars. All right, um, you can take another favor as well because okay. I'm gonna copy you and make some oil as well. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good? Yeah, good. Um, and then I'm going to fill this order here with my oil and my curry. Okay. So that bumps me up. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, no, it doesn't bump me up. I keep wanting to get bumped up. I know. All right, $4. But you get four bucks for that. Yeah. Do you have a dollar? I'll give you my little bag. <laughs> yeah, exchanging money is hard in this game because you don't see your You don't know how much fundage. you've got. It's all yeah. hidden. Secret. All right. All right, so you're good? Yeah, that's all I can do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, so what I'll do then is I'll meditate, say, this guy. And that'll earn me two. Earn me two. Meditation points. Oh, okay. And I'll meditate this guy. All right, for three. You know what? No, I'm going to meditate this guy. That'll be three. So I'm mm -hmm. going to do three meditation points, and that's going to convert this cement into a painting, right? Okay. I can do that? Hmm? I can do that, right? Yeah. All right. Or that die, rather. It's, not cement. it's a bowl of cement. Yeah. All right, so that was my meditation. So now for my action, I'm actually going to... Hmm. See, this is where it gets challenging because you've got a lot of stuff on the table. So kick me back. Kick you back? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just looking at what I need to do here. Oh, all right. That's good. That's what I was thinking. All right. Uh, I'm good there, too. Okay. I think what I'll do then is I'm going to pay $2 and take my boat action again. $2. I'm going to reactivate the boatman. Okay. And take the delivery action. Okay. So I'm going to pay one good so I can deliver two items, mm -hmm. right? So I'm going to deliver yeah. sandstone to Good. him and an oil to her. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So I'm actually going to go up one blue and one red on the track. Right, because you delivered to both. To two different people, yeah. A red and a blue. So and that I'm, triggers this. So I'll which take the top tile, okay. please. And, um, no. I'll take this the, the bottom tile, actually. Okay. You're still going to turn that tile. There you go. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'll take that, and I get three, four dollars for that, right? Mm-hmm. For filling that order. Yep. 
So I will pay a dollar and take five. And you actually get this guy. I get him, and he is endgame victory points. And I get money for delivering books. Okay, and I've got no favor. Why well, I'm like just no favor. And now I get a free delivery if I want to do an order. So I'm going to fill an order on the board. Okay. So I'm going to give wood and a painting. And this fill one? the top order on that track. Okay. Yep. So I only get, I need one. And I get, you get four bucks. Paid four bucks. We'll pay a dollar. And it's your turn. Um, you completed this. So this actually moves. Oh, all right. Oh, great. Boom. I wasn't ready for that. No. <laughs> Super. All right. So what this triggered was basically if you have how much cotton you have. So if you have no cotton, you get a level one. A good, good. of any type. Yeah. I have. If you have one cotton, you get a level two good of any type. So I didn't make out all that well. Yeah, I know. Uh, there were probably plenty of things I would have rather had. Yeah, I really wasn't ready for that. Um, all right. Oh, and I can't even take sandstone because it's worth two right now. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just take, I'll take it. This is so challenging. I'll take mm -hmm. a brick. I'll take two mark. All right. Yikes. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. It's your turn. So basically, um, once the level four notable is, mm -hmm. is solved, that triggers end game. Yeah. And that's probably going to happen before we fill the guild track. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Or finish giving uh, Akbar all his stuff because we haven't really been giving him anything. Yeah. So, all right, you're up. All right, I'm going to meditate. Mm -hmm. I'll meditate that guy for two. And I'm going to convert this guy into that to level two. You with me? Mm-hmm. So you did then, that. Yes, correct. For my action. Oh, actually. Um I'm gonna take I'm gonna meditate this guy too. For another two. I'm just gonna take this off there. For another oh for another two. Don't you get oh, another, for one? another one? Another one? We'll have to do one more guy. One more guy. Oh, there. Yep. Okay. Um, for my action... Well, what are you going to do with that other two meditation points first? Wait, what? You have to do, use up all your meditation first. Oh, my other one, right? Well, you just gained two more. You put down three guys, right? I put down four. I put down three. Yeah, so you get two, three, three. plus one is four. Oh, plus one is four. Uh, so, so what, I have one point left? Yeah, so for every guy you put down after you come No, the I have four. You... Four points. Yeah, and you spent two. No, I spent four. I just took this tile off. I spent oh, two to go here. Okay, two to take I didn't know you took the tile off. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, for my action, I'll go here. All right. So that kicks me back. And that's going to get me one, two, three of these. Mm -hmm. So that's three. And this lady lets me cash in two for one, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll do that. Two for one deal. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm. And then I'll spend these three to turn this into a painting. Hmm. Now oh, you're going for her, huh? I better get some ginseng on there then. It's turmeric. All right, I better get some turmeric on there then. 
Are you going to make it an order? No. Okay. I've got nothing on the board. No, you don't. Sandstone? Nobody wants that. <laughs> Nobody wants sandstone. All right, so I can... I can do some things. Fortunately, all my guys are sleeping right now, so I can't do any of those things. But I can convert a two to a two. A one, so. <laughs> I can't do any of those things. <laughs> Ooh, all right, well. Wow, you're going for all of it. You're going for the big guy. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to deliver bricks to him then. And cement. All right, I can do that. Whew, he's tough though. Maybe I won't deal with that. Maybe I'll do other things. Mm. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm just thinking here. I, I think it's so funny the joy you get in trying to figure out my plan. All right. I'm going to kick you out of here. Okay. Because I need some stone. So you Was get I a, standing up? You were. Okay. So I'm going to get uh, one, two, three, four stone. And it is your turn. So are you going to do any orders? I can't fill any orders right mm, now. Okay. I don't have the materials for it. On any of them. Yeah, they're all... You knocked my guy down. What guy? The one guy you had? The one guy I had standing up. Except I had this guy hiding behind his elephant. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted meditation points. No, I want some meditation points because I have things to do. Okay. Okay. I'll knock that guy down mm -hmm. for two. Which will allow me to change this two into this two. Mm hmm Right? Yeah. And then I'm gonna go here All right, and kick so you I'll out. Get favor for that. Points. And Oh, I can't do it. Because I don't have extra stuff on the board. Extra stuff. I can't make a delivery. Why? You get two for free. So why don't you I don't just, get two for free. You have a boat man that lets you deliver an extra good for free. Oh, he does? He does. So you can do two. This guy, plus one. So you can deliver one. No, that's only if... It's plus one. Oh, is that, that's even if I it make It doesn't matter. Delivery? Yeah, you, I thought that was only for you when make you make a delivery. You I thought get it's plus for when one. you make a delivery, I also get to deliver plus one. I'm pretty sure. What I is his name? Jargar. Jargar? Jar Jagardar. If you perform a sailor action, you can deliver an extra good at no cost. I know that because I had him. Oh. Absolutely. So even if you, and if you do one, I can do one as well. Correct. Oh, see that's, I thought that was the only his benefit. No, he's really good. Oh, he's so really you get good. to do two for free. So I do get to do two for free. Correct. Um, well that still kind of does nothing for me though well, because. you don't have to complete things. You can I still get stuff on. I really want to. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll do it anyway. So I'll do this painting and this brick. Mm -hmm. I'll deliver to this guy and get $3. Okay. So then you go up once on the red track. Okay. All right. And you have a free action? A free action? Well, your delivery action, your order, if you want to fill an order. Uh, no. You do not. I don't have any, really anything to deliver to any of these people. Okay. All right, so it's my turn. So I could meditate with one guy again, and that's really not going to do it. Which lets me convert like for like, though. And maybe I'll do that. So I'll lay him down and convert two for two, right? Mm -hmm. All right, now I can take my action, right? What to do, what to do. Well, I have cement now, right? Mm -hmm. I got a brick. One, two, three. This is very challenging. Um, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm actually going to go to the builder. Okay. Kick me off. Kick you off there. We haven't done this in a while. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I'm going to go make a curry shop. 
Ooh. Curry restaurant. Now it's going to cost me two because you get a one material discount when you use the builder or the architect when you go up there. What? Right? No. If you use two, oh, on two like different items. Ones. So then I'm going to use, I'll just use all. All three? No, I don't need to use all three. Why? Because they're worth two each, not one. Um, oh, yeah. that's... Just like when you use cement, it counts mm, as two. Absolutely. Okay. okay, I'm just saying that's their building value. So I don't know if their building value uh, changes just because their cost value changes. Ah, uh, you might be right. You know what I mean? That's why it's set there. Yeah, all right, then I'll spend three. I mean, I'll give it to you. No, I'll do it. It doesn't okay. matter. These are actually yours. Um, let me think a second here. Um, yeah, that works. Okay, I'll do that. So I've built that, right? Mm -hmm. So I get, this building is built now. I get to produce, which mm -hmm. I'll do. And I also get a tile. This is a level one tile though. So I will push up on, oh, I'm gonna go here and take the favor. Favor and $3, because I need a favor. And $3. And is that a track? No, you took the favor one, right? I took the favor, yes, yeah, so I didn't go up any tracks. Okay, so that was my action. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna fill that? Am I gonna fill that? Are you gonna fill a guild order? Or deliver something? Yes, I am. I'm gonna fill a guild order. Okay. I'm gonna give you a, a uh, dirt. Cement. And a bowl of. And a bowl of curry. Curry. All right. Oh, wow. Some orange dirt and curry. Are you okay? All right, so that is my free order. Mm -hmm. That pays me. I don't go up because I'm in the lead, but I get $4, right? Yes. Get change. That's my turn. All right. All right. Is it my turn? It's your turn. I'm not ready for this to be over, but there's only like one thing I can do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, see the thing is like, this guy's going to be end game points for me, which is good, but in order to do it, I'm going to have to take a, an executive action. What do you call that? A peon action. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. In order to take that move. Executive action. Isn't that uh, the gallerist? <laughs> executive action is I think the gallerist, it's the gallerist. I think. Yeah. Um, but it's going to have to be... <coughs> Excuse me. This guy, I don't know. I'm gonna meditate him uh, to take one of these off. For two? Yeah, for two. All right. And then I'm gonna have to spend two. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that that will just negate it though. How many points do we get for the taking the squares off? I forget. We got one each or two each? Uh... I think a point each, maybe. All right. Um, yeah, I haven't taken any off this game. I'm going to game. deliver the cement. All right, that's worth three dollars. Yes. You get three back. Thank you. you get all these one. back. You go up one on the red track. You get three favor right off the bat for this right. guy, and then he's end game points. Yeah. And you just triggered the boat. The Do -do -do. boat. Shh. All right. All right. Yep. Um, let me see if I want to spend these, these people. No, I guess not. Alright, I guess, uh... Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just spend $2 to do a peon mm -hmm. action. Stand him up and produce one, two, three, four stone. All right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend one of these to convert. A two to a two. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to convert this. So let's see what I can mm -hmm. do here. Stern, paper, maybe paper. Yeah, why not? I'll do, I'll do paper. And then I am done. So I could fill, but I will. I'm going to send oil to the king. The king. All right. There you go. All right. Cotton oil. And that ends it. So you get a turn, I get a turn, and then the and game it's over. is over. Okay. You know what you're doing already. I think so. I feel like I only have like kind of one thing I can do. Can do. That's a can do attitude. That is a can do attitude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, no, see, I, I can't. I can't even do that. All right. Well, my meditate. Meditate comes before your actions, which makes it really tricky. Mm -hmm. and I can't convert anything because I don't have anything out. I can't produce anything because I don't have anything out. So I guess I'm not meditating. Okay. Unless I want to move my farmers, but I really can't even do that. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to spend two and go here. You're not gonna spend your what things to do it for no, free? No, I'm not. Okay. Hold on. Um, and I'm gonna produce two cotton, which I'm gonna turn into one of these, and then I'm gonna spend these three to turn this into that mm -hmm. and sell it. And sell it for four bucks. Four dollars. Yeah, so that was a net two dollar move. <laughs> All right, you have a dollar. I'm sure I do. <laughs> all right, so that's all you're doing. That's all I can do. Yeah, you don't have any more. <laughs> I don't have anything else goods on, on the board. board. Okay, uh, I'm gonna meditate. All right. Because I, I should. Meditate. So that's two, three points. Three points. Um, I don't think I need three points. I just need two, really. And I'm going to convert... I'm going to do this one where I convert a two to a two. So I'll convert this two into cloth. All right? Mm -hmm. And let me think here. So what do we need? I need book can't do that I need a shirt and a stone I don't have a shirt a shirt he wants a shirt yeah he needs his party shirt look at that piece of crap he's wearing a shirt and what else and a stone yeah you could do that I could have yeah I, I could you have any conversions how do I convert that though I don't, I don't have know. enough well, how many meditation points did you use already? Oh, I know what I can Sleep do. Sleep these guys and just bump that up to a shirt. Yeah, where were you? Where did you leave this on the remove the thing? Yeah, huh? I think so. No, I... Because I just did a two point to do that. Yeah. I would need three points to do this because I converted that into paper, right? Yes. So maybe I don't convert that to paper. I spend three, take that, and then bump this up to a shirt. Oh, well, why don't you just put that as a shirt anyway? How? I mean, make that paper anyway. You could sleep on your guys. I have one more guy. How am I going to do... Oh, I could. Wait, no. I would sleep... Well, it depends on how many points you get. You only get three, four... Yeah, I can only get a four okay. at max, so I yeah. can't do it. This Because this was three points, so mm -hmm. I have one extra point, oh, okay. which isn't really going to do anything for me. Right. Unfortunately, so... But I can do this. I can spend one of these because it only cost me one to convert like to like, mm -hmm. and that'll convert, that would convert that to paper, but I'm not sure. I don't know why you need yeah, that. Yeah, I don't really need that right now. So I'm gonna hold off on that for a second uh, because I'm not sure what I wanna do. 
Um, so I... How many guys did you meditate? I meditated two. I had three standing. Oh. So if I were to take the boatman, mm -hmm. right, and I want to deliver, but I want to deliver, I want to deliver an order, right? A yeah. guild order? Yes. Can I you do a guild order with the boat? You, it works the same way, so you still have to pay the extra thing in That's order fine. to deliver, That's fine. That's fine. but you have to deliver both. You can't just Okay, so one I was going to do a stone and a shirt, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll do a shirt and a stone, mm -hmm. and I'll pay a cotton to do that, whatever. Okay, I'll take this one back. Yeah. So that'll get me that order. Okay. And that gives you four bucks. Four bucks? Well, we're technically tied. So three bucks. Oh, I get three dollars. Yeah. Ooh. So here's a two. That's right. If you're tied, you only get, mm -hmm. you get a dollar less. Yeah. That's the only track we've been tied yeah, on too, yeah. which stinks. Uh, all right. And then now it's my f free action, right? Yep. All right, I'm gonna deliver to. Does he want a brick? Uh, yeah. Give him a brick. A brick. Give the man a brick. Give me a brick. That's it. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea how this game went. Nor do I. I never do. Okay, so let's uh, let's score it up. All right. right. All right, so. Uh, first things okay. first, let's cash in our monies for... For small money? I mean, big like, hey, Whoa, what are you doing? Online. You're throwing money everywhere. All right, so let's... And we got to look at... So this thing kind of has a nice little endgame scoring summary, which is nice. Put this over here. <laughs> I need room. There's my... All right, so... I mean, you don't have to change in yet, because we're still going to get a bunch more money. Yeah, I know. I just like to keep it organized. So... We, we hit the end game, and now we're going to start scoring, right? So, first thing we, mar we, we score are these notables, right, that have these end game symbols on them. Yes. Get these guy. off the table. All right, so I've got this dude, Subador, and who do you have? Uh, the court artist. So the court artist is... Um, he gives me a dollar for each... Red symbol I have, right? Court artist, yeah. Uh, so during the final scoring, you receive one rupee for each notable and order you have yeah. or one, occupy with the appropriate Two, game. three, four. So you get four bucks. So you get four bucks. All right, so give me a dollar and I'll give you a five. All right. And I have the Subadar, and he's the lecture a little bit different, right? So the Subadars, during final scoring, I receive one rupee for each guild order I fulfilled. Hmm. Okay, so you get four. So I get four dollars. That wasn't bad. All right, so that was it for the... That's just straight up guild orders? Straight up guild orders. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, so that's him, right? So mm -hmm. each of the three influence tracks that I've scored, the player on the topmost step of each influence track receives two rupees for each of their markers in the corresponding order column. All right, so I'll get two here. So you get four. Yeah. For that one. Four, and you get two, four, six... I get six. Yeah. So you get four, I get six. You have a dollar? Mm -hmm. I get six, so I'll pay four and take a ten. All right. And we were tied in the middle track. Mm -hmm. So we each get a rupee per marker. So I also get another, another rupee for the middle track. Each player whose meditation tracker reached the, the end yeah. receives five rupees. Yeah, right, right, each player receives one rupee for each of their own removed cover tiles. So I get so one, four. two. I only removed two. Oh, okay. I get four. Two and four. All right. Each player gets one, three, or five plus three rupees for delivering goods to the emperor. So how many did you deliver him? One. So you get one rupee. Okay. And I delivered how many? Three. three. So I get five rupees. I'll throw in a five and take a ten. Now total the rupees. That's it. So I think you kicked my butt in this one. You think? Yeah. I don't know about that. It's really impossible to tell. There's five and five is ten. Two, three, four. Okay. Do you have all your monies? Mm -hmm. You want me to I've cash them? No. How many do you have? Just count your money. Twenty, forty, fifty-three. Four. Seriously? 54 points. I think I have 52. Really? You better count this out. Cash your 5, money. 5, 10, 15, 20. There's 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 
two, four, six, eight, ten. Alright, there's we'll one, take these and two, give you a twenty. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a ten. Two. Fifty-two to fifty-four. Woo! Whoa. What that was a crazy. game. That was close. Let's talk about oh. it. Well, there you have it. Agra. That was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna Ooh, be. That was tight. And the thing is, you have no idea. You have no idea. Just no idea. It, it's it. Uh, well, I guess we'll get into it because this sure. is one thing that like games like this where you don't know how you're doing the whole time. Mm -hmm. it, I think there's like a love it or hate it yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. You love it. I love it. <laughs> I hate it. I love. Not, <laughs> I love not having my score just out for everybody to no. see. No. I Just am exposed. I like to, I'm like a constant like check my progress mm. person. So I like to know like if I'm falling behind or like how I'm doing. I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. All right, let's talk but, about it. But okay, let's talk about it. So um let's let's start with replayability as always. There's a ton of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so on a few, in a few different levels. So go ahead, start start us off, and then um, right, and then so I have some things to say too about this. All the bonus tiles you saw, like the builder tiles, yes. the um, imperial board tiles, the cards, the yeah, notables on the table, like that's just they're all different every setup. So that that's that's variety right there, right? Mm. Am I putting you to sleep? No, you just call so me. much <laughs> so much variability. It's, so it's much just putting you to sleep. I need some turmeric turmeric yeah. tea. All right. So yes, okay. there's just but, in the setup alone. There's there's a bunch, right? Yeah. Um, I the thing is about okay replayability. One of the things that I look for personally mm -hmm. when we're talking about replayability in a game is also like replayability of the strategy. Yeah, yeah. And something that I think we encounter a lot, even with some of our favorite games, heavier games and things, is that you play it through a couple times, and by you know the third play through, I mean, sometimes even after the first or second, you kind of figure out the game mm -hmm. and like, you know how to win, like, and you could kind of do it better maybe and like you try to refine your strategy, yep. but you really figure out the engine. And I know it's not the case for everybody, but that's just the way we think. And, and mm -hmm. we, you know, we play a lot and that's part of what we enjoy. I think like is the puzzle yeah. of a lot of these heavier games. And this is one where I feel like I could keep playing it, like I want to keep playing it, again, not only because it's fun, but because I still feel like I haven't figured out the strategy. Like, I, I want to replay it again and, like, only do cloth production and, yeah. like, see what happens. You and know? see what happens, yeah. Or, like, you know, only do deliveries or guilds or, or something and really try to focus on one track because there is so much to do mm -hmm. and just see how it changes the game you know yeah I mean, and i can't imagine how it plays with a higher player count too exactly right? are more yeah. are more buildings being built on the board, right. right and you're getting more favor because you're getting knocked off more often and stuff yeah. so i mean this is a two-player playthrough because that's what we do yep. um but yeah i mean even even at two i think that that degree of replayability which we don't always see yeah in a lot of the games that we play is definitely there in spades yeah without a doubt yeah Super high. Yeah. All right. So that being said, we can talk. We can go right into weight. Mm -hmm. You know, weight and audience. Kind of who this is for. This is the heaviest game you'll ever play. No, oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> no, but do a note on weight, oh, okay. though. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. So there's there's a, a general buzz yeah. out there that this is like the heaviest game ever on BGG and all that. And it's rated quite high. It is rated. I think it's maybe higher than like Lisboa. Four point seven. Itself. Was it even that yeah, high? It was four or four four really four. four. It, was, it was really really high. On BGG, and I, I think, I mean, we both talked about this, and, yeah. and we don't quite agree with that. Right. I mean, I even mean, after our first play. Yeah, I was expecting to just be like, wow, I can't even wrap my head around this game right. because it's so complicated, but right. it's really not. Well, and that, yeah, and so I think that you know, it's important to have a discussion about, you know, what is weight? Like, mm -hmm. what does that mean? And at least for us, when we talk about weight it, strategy you know because obviously there's there's a lot of strategy in this game we just said that right but as far as weight goes and complexity usually what we're looking at is like is it is it easy to teach is it easy to understand or is it more is it complex to understand or whatever right. and we really don't feel like this is extremely difficult to grasp yeah, and from it a strategic... Was, it's very organized. Uh, yeah, even just learning the game, right? Yeah, Which is, is quite easy, easy I yeah. think. 
but even from just a, a general strategy, like mm -hmm. we, we, we talked about the challenge of finding a strategy, right. which is half the fun of a game. It is, you're yeah, right, yeah. trying to get to that strategy. If you want to weigh it purely on how complex is the strategy of this game, then I would say, yeah, it is definitely heavy. Right. Because it is, it, you really have to wrap your head around just the strategy component. But it's I, a tight euro. Yeah. And I, you are very limited in what you can do. You right. really have to think about putting together combos on your your uh, meditation points mm -hmm. versus your uh, favor points plus your one action per turn. And how do you kind of move things in such a way that you can pull off this super huge delivery combo? You know what I mean? In, in the most point. efficient in way. In the most efficient way before somebody else does it. And yes, that is heavy, but it's not, it's not the total package of heavy. And when we right. think total package of heavy, we think of complex mechanisms, complex yeah. strategy, complex everything. Rules and yeah, the and rules like and just like what's the challenge of getting this to the table, setting it up, understanding how to play it and then playing through a full game. Well, and teaching it. And too. teaching it. And you know. and I I think we'd have a harder time teaching some Lacerda games. Right. than this game. Yes. Like, we still haven't learned how to play Kanban yet, <laughs> and I'm not sure we ever will, right. right? I can't say that's a heavy game, right? but the mechanisms in that and the concepts and the rules mm -hmm. wrap it together, and we play a lot of games. Right. We play a lot of heavy games. We gave up halfway through our first play because oh, we just were yeah. like, forget it. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. And I don't know if you want to call that heavy, but in our minds, if a game is that hard to learn right. and get to the table, it's... It's heavy. Well, right. and I think that's, I mean, we talk about this a lot too, that this this is a really good example of a game that kind of hits that sweet spot mm -hmm. where the complexity and the weight is in the strategy as opposed to learning the game, yeah. which I think is what turns a lot of people off. But that term is so ambiguous when you're talking about weight that we thought it was important to explain yeah. kind of what that means. Yeah. So, to us, so, I mean, if you want to compare this to say, Okay, we have a trick-taking game or, right. or a uh, set collection card uh -huh. game we're playing. Light mechanisms, basic gameplay, familiar rule set. Mm -hmm. Then you throw a game like this on the table. Yes, they are night and day. Because right. this is it's got a hundred thousand more things to think about. Um, and a, lo a much longer strategy than yeah. your little, okay, I'm going to play hand, play hand, play hand, and not really think too much further ahead. So... So, yes, it's heavy in that aspect, without a doubt. Right. But don't let that scare you. Right. When somebody yes. says it's That's heavy, important. because it's not... And, and the first thing I think about when, when I hear heavy is, is, is this going to be tough to learn, tough to figure it's out? It's like, okay, this is going to take no. an hour to set up, like a couple hours to learn. No. You know, it's going to be impossible to teach, and it's going to scare away anybody. I, and, that, and so going into audience, mm -hmm. you know, this is really one that I feel like you could bring out with some of your current midweight gamer friends and stuff and play and explain to them and I don't think that they'll be extremely overwhelmed. They shouldn't because be. Because the again, the it, it, I think it will develop and kind of stand the test of time no matter what your level is. Right. From like medium weight up because you could easily sit and play this game and just produce and process the whole game mm -hmm. and see what happens. Right. You know, and you won't touch a lot of the deeper strategy. But if you are a strategist and you play a lot of heavy games, you can get even more out of it. Right. So for that reason, I, I would say this is probably, like audience-wise, a midweight gamer that wants to start to get into heavy games but is a little bit put off by the complexity of the rules and things yeah. in some heavier games like the Lacerda games and things yeah. like that that we play. Um, but yeah, also, you know, folks who like strategy and just want to throw something on the table, learn it real quick and and start playing. Yeah, I, I definitely put this in the, in the same class as any um, Lisboa gallerist like any of those, honestly. Yeah. But I don't think it's heavier than those. No, I don't either. And so, I would say it's easier to learn. I think it's easier to learn. I, I would have an easier time teaching somebody this game than the gallerist, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Much easier time. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, I think we, I think we did that. I think we touched on <laughs> that. Actually. All right. Let's talk theme and components. Yeah. So, uh, and you're not huge on this theme. I was going to say, well, it's... But it's growing on you. Poor screwed me. Yeah, it was pretty because bad. Because it was like... 
But there's no camels in this game. Yeah, there's there aren't. There's just a gray there's elephant. Just the elephant. Yeah. And a builder. And a builder. Yeah, Bob the builder. Yeah. But um, no, I think that one thing I really appreciated actually about the components. I mean, it's a beautiful game. The art is fantastic. Um, you know, it's like it's realistic, but it's bright. You know, mm. um, I liked how the components stood out, and I don't usually like bright neon yeah. primary color components. So I, I appreciated like that tertiary color scheme. Yeah, yeah like these fluorescent you know? green. Yeah, uh, and they're maples. like pink and blue. Yeah, you're kind of like, yeah, that's a weird color, but you need them to see them on this board. Right, because everything's so muted. It's very busy. On the board. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's quite busy. I will give one good. con. I mean, yeah. aside from that, like the, the Imperial board, we, although we had it laying down for the game so right. that the camera oh, could yeah, see right. it, it normally stands up like a pinball machine and looks, it looks pretty awesome because everything's cut on a slant so it, looks it stands like straight up. It looks like one of those circuit boards. It look, yeah, it looks like a Starship, the original Starship Enterprise circuit board because you're just like all these different color dials. But um, my one con about this game and, and component wise is one, the board is, I think, a little too big. It's quite it big. didn't need to be this big, uh, to be quite honest. I think they could have shrunk it down a bit so it fit the table a little bit better. And um, it's hard to see where the different buildings are when you have to really look yeah. at it and start placing. I mean, they're not super relevant in some instances, but when you've got a building tile that's covering right. up a building to show that it isn't built yes. yet, it's really hard to tell when you're moving like the elephant through the city. Right. Which ones are actually built, which ones aren't. So I think that's a little bit challenging, uh, just understanding what's what on this board because a lot of the uh, mechanisms blend in with the background. Right, yeah. So that's my that. one That's my one con on this. Yeah. Well, two cons. Though with, um, with setup though, everything is outlined. So yeah. it is kind of nice that you can just put those there. But yeah, maybe putting those in like a white or something like that. Yeah, and the player boards, I think you, you tend to knock these farmers around. <laughs> So, Makes it called Pete. Yeah, so our good friend Pete from Board Game Boost, he, he's the guy who made us uh, overlays. He's a, he's local, he's a friend of ours. Yeah. Um, but he, he made our... The Terraforming Mars. Terraforming Mars Great and Trail. Great Western Trail overlays, because you know yeah. how those game boards are. Um, you know, you bump the table and everything's everywhere. Right. So he made these awesome, like, acrylic overlays for us, and he, he sells them now. But um, this would... Oh, yeah. This is going... Yeah, this is Awesome. Going so we're going to let him know. Like, this is crying for an overlay. <laughs> it needs one, with no question, because yeah. these things fall you all do. over the place. Well, and they're important, because if your farmers move these squares and stuff, you don't know how much you're going to get. And, yeah, it, it's, 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 it's a big deal. Matters. So I think I, I think that's that's another little con. Like, even if it was a double layer board that you could put something in the block. Mm -hmm. um, and then like they, they did with this. Yeah. They did, they, like, you know, these, you can't really tell, but they're actually slanted on the bottom mm -hmm. because when this board is standing up, this slant is enough of a, like, the degree of the angle is enough that yeah. these stand up straight. Right. So it's kind of cool. So, yeah, they should have employed that on the player boards, too. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it's, I mean, you're talking from being awesome or yeah. phenomenal, and right. it's just awesome. So. Okay. It's only awesome. It's only awesome. We have high standards. Yeah. It's beautiful it's though. It is beautiful. Yeah, game. they're really gorgeous. Um, did you have fun? Yeah, this is a good game. Uh, there's no question. We yeah, we really. This is it. definitely one of our favorite Euros, yeah. I think, hands down. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot of strategy, yeah. and and I like, and we both like a game that that really pushes us to the limit of yes of strategy and, and where we're really struggling to mm -hmm. to sort of like crack the nut here right like yes. to say okay oh i get it i'm going to do this engine now but right you have to find your engine in this game right. and that's where i think it shines it's like because you have to it, it develops itself based yeah. on the cards that are out right what actions are available and you really do you play a completely different game every time yeah like no. different you're trying different strategies worse that we still haven't figured it out no you I know i think that's that's really where this shines yeah so. and i like like there's not a lot of confrontation mm -hmm. in this game, uh, which obviously is always nice for us. But it's cool to see, like, even though you're you're competing and you do get kind of frustrated, like, if you took the card I want or you filled an order that I want or something. Mm -hmm. But, like, you both get so excited about, like, the little victories that you get. You're like, finally, I got that this token. And it's right. like, why do you even want that? And you're like, I don't know. Yeah, you just got it. Just because I got it. Like, I did this combo, and, and this is my prize, you know? Yep. So that part of it's really fun. Um, let's... Let's jump to expectations. You want to jump to expectations? Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, I don't really... This really compares to nothing that we played and we talked about. Yeah, it compares to things, just so. any other resource generator yeah. hero, but just done differently and Okay, so better. tell me about your expectations. Did it meet them? Uh, I thought it was going to be drier than this. 
uh, a lot yeah. drier just by the look of it like I right. immediately was like ah, oh, this looks kind of dry especially with that crazy pinball machine and I thought it was gonna be very complicated well because we saw this actually at Gen Con last yeah, year just the prototype and they had it like set up like super long because yeah. they had like the guy up at the top overseeing everything which is kind of cool right but, but I don't, my arms are long enough <laughs> I have like alligator arms I yeah. can't reach this stuff. I mean maybe if you were playing like this way yeah, with people on the other side I don't know but but yeah so I expected a very dry very boring euro a very spicy euro but it was spicy spicy yeah so it ended up being very very much better than I expected yeah uh, I agree I and I actually thought that it was going to be more complex like to learn yeah um, I was so intimidated I I'll admit yeah it. I mean I was excited about that anticipated intimidation yeah. a little bit because again we don't get like stuff that's like so crunchy all the time mm -hmm. but at the same time I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that I, I got to spend less time in the rule book and more time just more playing time the playing. game yeah and that was really really refreshing yeah, that's huge and one thing i really enjoyed was that we got to actually process the goods kind of speaking to your point about it being dry mm -hmm. like we compare it to like lignum a lot in yeah. euro because it's like so typical that is the driest euro. you know you're yeah. like turning wood into other kinds of wood yeah. not that it's a bad euro it's, it's just fantastic. extremely dry so micro but this is like you have your fields you're making your stuff you're processing it into some stuff you're po processing into byproducts then you're making like really cool stuff and mm -hmm. then you're actually doing something with it. Yeah, and if you can And can't, there's like a whole story that goes along with it. If you can't it. produce it, you trade for it. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. you have ways to, to not have to build a specific cloth engine right. if you need cloth. You can yeah. always exchange other en other uh, goods for it. So yeah. That's what's that really, hit. really cool about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so pros and cons. All right. So what do you think? Pro, obviously we talked about theme. We talked yeah. about replayability. Yeah, uh, replayability for me and strategy was a huge, is a huge pro in this one. Yeah. So theme replayability strategy yeah um i think uh clear rules you know, like it had a yeah, very, it had it a very, very clear, clear very clear rule book you know it's moderately easy to learn yeah uh, i think from a con perspective i already talked about it i think right. the the components are although awesome i think the board's a little bit big and a little bit hard to define what's what yeah um but otherwise there's really no other cons. For yeah, this I can't. I really can't think of any. No. I mean, the price. Maybe, yeah, it's but, expensive. But it's on par with any other. With any other. Any other year you're going to get maybe availability. Here. I'll say that. I mean, yeah. we picked this up finally um, at our local game store. Yep. Who's they're fantastic and they get in. They all, get all the, all good the games. things we yeah. love. Um, but I don't know about the availability elsewhere. Don't know. I mean, I think this was like the only copy in the store. Mm -hmm. So, sorry. If yeah, if you can't get it, yeah. <laughs> we got it. Yep. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, so there you go. That's Agra. And um, if you want, you know, uh, leave your comments. Uh, follow us on Twitter if you get a chance. We're uh, on Facebook now. We're on Facebook now. There. Yeah. So uh, and we're working on our website, so we'll get that up. Yes. And improved uh, very soon. I think. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.